hello students in this video i will talk about another clinical syndrome called arskog scott syndrome there are many names for this syndrome uh, some are like facio digito genital syndrome facio genital dysplasia and simply arskog disease the students will learn about the cause clinical features and management of this syndrome arskog scott syndrome is an inherited x linked genetic disorder due to mutations in the fgd1 gene it primarily affects males however females who carry a single copy of a fgd1 gene mutation may exhibit some of the symptoms its occurrence is reported worldwide with an estimated prevalence of one in every 25000 people moving on to the clinical features of this syndrome a set of facial skeletal and genital abnormalities may be found in affected males beside facial skeletal and genital abnormalities there may be some other systemic involvement many deformities have been recognized under the headings of facial deformities skeletal and genital i'll take the names of few you can find the whole list in the lecture note by clicking the link given in the description section facial deformities uh, the most common ones are rounded face with broad forehead widely spaced eyes which is also known as ocular hypertelorism drooping or ptosis of the eyelids maxillary hypoplasia low set ears and thickened fleshy ear lobes there may be dental uh, development delays skeletal deformities usually include short stature broad short hands and feet brachydactyly clinodactyly and abnormally extendable finger joints sunken chest prominent umbilicus spina bifida are also some of the skeletal issues genital features include hypospadias cryptoarchidism and scrotal abnormalities beside these abnormalities there may be other systemic defects like congenital heart defects strabismus ophthalmoplegia obesity etc there may be learning disabilities and behavioral disorders in the affected person how to diagnose this clinical syndrome as usual a detailed medical history and clinical examination is mandatory fgd1 gene mutations recognition by molecular genetic testing molecular genetic testing for genes associated with similar conditions may be suggested in cases where an fgd1 gene mutation is not found in addition to fgd1 the genes that cause overlapping conditions should be tested for confirmation the treatment for this clinical syndrome is basically the symptoms management pediatricians surgeons cardiologists dental specialists speech pathologists audiologists eye specialists and other healthcare professionals may need to manage respective abnormalities present in an affected individual surgery may be required in cases of hypospadias inguinal or umbilical hernias cryptorchidism and some other unusually severe craniofacial features present in individuals due to this syndrome growth hormone therapy may be beneficial to improve height in some children but its effects are not proven yet a neuropsychiatric evaluation for neurodevelopmental symptoms may be indicated genetic counseling is recommended for affected individuals and their families to prevent the recurrence of the condition in their families thank you for listening